This North Carolina man will live on through dozens of other people. He was killed while he was swimming in the ocean with his family. We told you Saturday, Lee Dingle broke his neck on Oak Island. Our Gina Esposito learned he will now save other people's lives after his tragic death. Lee Dingle tragically died last Friday. At the time, he was playing with his six children at the beach on Oak Island, a town south of Wilmington. His wife, Shannon Dingle, is a prominent Christian author. She posted on Twitter that an intense wave hit him. His head slammed into the sand, breaking his neck. This is heartbreaking for the Dingle family. They live in Raleigh, but Dingle's parents are in Mint Hill. They reached out to us saying as a final act of selflessness, their son's organs will be donated. In all, helping 55 people. It's incredible, and it's incredible to see how many North Carolinians really make that decision to save lives of complete strangers. Carolina Donor Services CEO and President says Dingle is a hero. There's so many people waiting on an organ. There's over 115,000 people in the U.S. waiting for organs, and over 3,000 in North Carolina alone. Because of HIPAA privacy laws, we don't know who could benefit from his organs. But we do know if they come here to Charlotte, they would first go through LifeShare Carolinas and the surgery would happen at Atrium Health. While Dingle's family is facing tragedy now, they've been blessed with kindness over the years. In 2016, our sister station in Raleigh shared this story. A business donated an electric lift for their daughter who has cerebral palsy. Let's say hello to the Dingle family. For the family was even on Good Morning America. School supplies were donated to Dingle's children. Now Dingle is returning the love and helping others. Gina Esposito, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.